welcome to session six of our discussion. In session six, we are going to discuss information creation, distribution, and management. That is how information is created, how it is distributed, and how it is, it is managed. And so we'll be discussing another aspect of the information cycle and who are involved in the cycle. At the end of the session, I expect that you'll be able to identify institutions that process and provide information services, that you would have learned about the information professionals and their training, and then you will know about the different levels of associations that exist within the library and information science profession. And the outline that we, we are looking at is uh, for topic one, we'll look at information infrastructure institutions. For topic two, we'll be considering information professionals. We'll see who is an information professional. And then topic three, we'll be looking at professional associations. So information infrastructure institutions. These include libraries and information centers, archives and records management centers, publishing and the book trade, information systems, communication and media houses, educational and training institutions. Then we have uh, museums. Now libraries and information centers, these are places that are described as repositories of uh, knowledge. And therefore you can walk into a, a library and have access to the information material that you want. You can walk into a library also and have access to the internet in order to be able to, to search for information that you need. Archives and record management centers Archives keep uh, inactive records for the purpose of preservation and for, for, for the purpose of research. Whereas records management centers keep uh, active records, they keep and manage active records. Then we are publishing in the book trade. Here we are talking about uh, the publishing industry where authors who, who create uh, books send their manuscripts to and they, they get published and then they are sold out and distributed to those who, who need them. And then we have information systems here. We are talking about computerized information systems where every organization, every, uh, every, every association has an information uh, system or has a management information system, for example, which uh, deals with information that is generated within and without the organization. There were communication and media houses. We are, we are talking about newspapers. We are talking about uh, newspapers, whether electronic or, or print-based. We are also talking about television stations and the likes. Then we have education and training institutions. These are places where information professionals are, are trained or educated. And then we have museums where artifacts are, are kept for the purposes of, of, of research and for the purposes of uh, viewing. Then our topic two deals with the information professionals. So we'll be looking at who the information professionals are. And so the question that we pose, who is an information professional? We are told that any person who is first and foremost concerned with the user of information and secondly with the handling of information is a professional. And so if you are, if you are first and foremost concerned with uh, people who use information or people who need information, and then you are secondly concerned with the handling of information, then you are in, an information professional. But that is simply put, you will need to acquire certain qualities or qualifications before you will be, you will, you will, you will, you will be able to achieve these uh, characteristics or these attitudes of uh, being concerned with the use of information and being concerned with the handling of information. Now, another definition of the information professional is that those persons who are essentially intermediaries between information sources and information systems and information users. In other words, people who act as intermediaries or the link between information and people who use information. Okay. And we have categories of information professionals. So we have the librarian, for example. We have the archivist. We have the records manager. We have the information scientist. We have the information systems analyst and designer. We have the information manager. We have information broker. We have the information consultants. We have the database manager. We have the journalist. We have the editor. We have the curator. We have the educator. Now the librarian. The librarian is the one who is in charge of uh, 
the, the library, and his uh, responsibility is to look at the user profile, the people who will use uh, the, the, the library, and then identify and acquire relevant materials, whether electronic or print, or both, that will satisfy the needs of uh, the user community. Then when we talk about the archivist, the archivist is the one who, who preserves and manages uh, inactive records for the organization. The records manager is the one who organizes and manages the current records or active, active records for an organization. Then the information scientist, he is interested in the nature and theory of uh, information and how information is handled. And the systems uh, analyst, the information systems analyst and, and, and designer is also concerned with uh, evaluating the, the system and then uh, responding to whatever changes that needs to be or whatever updates that needs to be brought to the system. The information uh, manager is the one who is concerned with uh, the total information landscape in terms of inf infrastructure, in terms of human resource, in terms of equipment, and uh, the contents, the information resources themselves. Then we have the information broker whose responsibility is to, is to evaluate research, acquire information, evaluate the information, and then package the, the information in a manner that it will become beneficial to the End, end user, and he does that in order to be able to, to sell the information to the, to the end user. Then there is an information consultant whose responsibility is not too different from the information broker, except that the information consultant will also be, be, be concerned with the system that has been put in, in place and how the system is working well, so that he can then make recommendations as to improvement in the system. Then we have the database manager, whose responsibility is to create data databases. Then we have the journalist, the journalist who goes around uh, sourcing for information in order to put them in the in the public domain, do, domain to inform people about what is going on in the society. Then we have the editor. The editor is the one who puts value on the information that, for example, the journalist will, will, will come up with. So you realize that unless it is a live broadcast, Whatever information is gathered by journalists goes to the editor who decides how to present the information to the general public. Then we have the curator, which, who is the one who is in charge of the museums and therefore takes care of the, of the artifacts and manages them for the purposes for which the museum has been set up. Then we have the, the educator, who, who is in the mode of uh, what I'm doing now, educating and training uh, information uh, people. Then we have uh, topic three. Our topic three deals with the professional associations. So we will ask, what is a profession? A profession is described as a body of theoretical and specialized knowledge, or a body that has a, 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 a theoretical and specialized knowledge. It also has a set of applied techniques for the purpose of practicing that uh, profession. Then there is establishment of formal educational programs development of a code of ethics, a representative organization which monitors the general standards of uh, activities of the practitioners of the profession, and then uh, a service orientation to clients. That profession must also demonstrate a service orientation to clients, in other words, putting the clients first. And then that profession must have recognition from a significant number of uh, non-practitioners of that specific profession. In that sense, then, information or librarianship is a profession. So also is accounting, so also is, is, is teaching. These are all professions because all of them have uh, theoretical and specialized knowledge. They have a set of applied techniques for practice. They have establishment of formal educational programs. They have developed a code of ethics. They have a representative or, or, or organization that uh, monitors uh, general standards of activity. For example, uh, the Bank Ghana Bar Association licenses uh, lawyers, just as uh, uh, ACCA or the, the, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Ghana, ICAG, also licenses uh, accountants to op operate. And then the Ghana Library Association also licenses uh, librarians to operate. Then there is a service orientation to clients. The client, the, the customer is always right. You push the, 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 the client or the customer's interest first. 
then there is a recognition. We have uh, the uh, professional bodies uh, decree or law which, uh, to which every professional organization is uh, registered as a, as a member. Now, professional associations, I want to now focus on professional associations. So every profession has a, an, an association. And professional associations are normally non-profit organizations that seek to promote the welfare of a particular profession. And so the interests of the individuals that are engaged in the, in the profession are taken into consideration as well as the general interests of the general public. And so examples of uh, professional associations include the Ghana Bar Association, as I mentioned earlier on, for lawyers. We have the Ghana Medical and Dental Council for, for doctors and dentists. We have the Ghana Registered Nurses Association for nurses. Uh, the Ghana National Association of Teachers for, uh, that is not for uh, basic school teachers. And then we have National Association of Graduate Teachers, that's not grad, for uh, high school. We have the Ghana Library uh, Association for Library and Information Personnel. We have the Ghana Journalist Association for, for Journalists. So and there are several others that exist in the, in, the, in the country. Now in terms of professional associations, sometimes we can have uh, national associations we can have uh, regional associations and we can have international associations. Usually you will have uh, national associations affiliated to regional associations and then the regional associations are also affiliated to international associations. So for example, national associations, American Library Association for example, we have the Library Association of the UK and we have the Ghana Library Association of, of Ghana. In terms of regional, regional associations, we have the West Africa Library Association, we have the Commonwealth Library Association with the acronym COMLA. And then in terms of international association, we have uh, IFLA, which is the, the acronym for International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions. Now, this is uh, an international body that uh, maps out the standards of practice for all uh, library and information professionals in the, in the world. And national associations are all affiliated to that uh, association. Then we have uh, UNESCO. That is United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural uh, Organization, which also promotes uh, library and information uh, developments in the several countries of the, of the world, particularly in the developing countries. These are references that will also help you in, in getting more information about uh, profession and professional association. As you proceed in your, in your uh, levels, you will come across more, more of, of, of this. For example, in level 200, you'll be reading about information management. You'll read the course information management, which will take you more into the various uh, professions that are there, or careers that are there in the information profession. Thank you for watching.